here we've used dry ice to represent isoflurane filling an induction chamber. Typically mice and rats are anesthetized in these induction chambers and once they're full and the animal is sleeping the lid of the chamber is open to retrieve the animal exposing the operator to a large amount of waste anesthetic gas. With the help of an induction chamber evacuator the gas can be, can be safely removed before opening the lid to retrieve the animal as demonstrated here. Of course in this case we're going to keep producing the gas that's represented by the dry ice because I still have some dry ice in there evaporating. But I'll do one more demonstration here to show that by using the induction chamber evacuator we can clear out most of the anesthetic inside the chamber before opening the lid to retrieve the animal.